Today we're looking at this guy. This is Xanthohydrophilus, also known as the furrowed crab. Furrowed crabs are pretty easily identifiable, being that kind of yellowy brown colour all over except for those claws which as you can see are a really deep black colour. They are omnivorous, so they'll use those big claws to scavenge dead animals as well as eat algae. Like with most rock pole animals, this crab can be found hiding underneath rocks or between cracks and crevices. It can also be found up to 40 metres deep within the sea itself. Interestingly, the crab I found had lost all but three of its legs. But don't worry, crabs have the ability to regrow limbs. The crab I found was a female, as you can tell by the circular underbelly. In males, this tends to be triangular, which you can see on screen now. They're also an indicator for climate change. As temperatures have risen, the furrowed crab population has moved northwards. I found this one in Devon, but they've now been spotted all across Wales. The furrowed crab is traditionally found in Cornwall and Devon, but like I said, has been moving north as well as east. It's even been spotted in Dorset now. It's really important that we keep tabs on this crab. Their movement shows how our marine populations are doing and where they're going in the face of climate change. If you think you find a furrowed crab in somewhere it's not yet been found, take as many pictures as you can and report it to your local wildlife trust. As goes with everything on the rock pool, put it back where you found it. I think we've bothered this little crab enough now, so let's get him back in the water. What a really interesting and amazing creature.